Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. Welcome to part five. If you're just starting, go back and get one, two, three, and four. Well, for those of you who follow my long baits, you know it's time to start killing some scammer phones. This is an unexpected disruption in their business, which we love. In this particular case, they are going to lose an entire business phone account. Let's go. Hello. Hello, Miss Mary. I yes. Hello. Hello. Miss Mary, I know you're there. Everything is okay. All right. I just want to get in touch with you so I can finalize and I can come to your location, all right? All the paperwork has been dealt with. I just need to speak to you to find out when you're going to be available for the delivery to make, all right? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Miss Alice, are you hearing me? Yes, hello? If you're not hearing me, hang up and call me back. <phone rings> yes, are you hearing me now? Uh, yes, can you hear me? Hello? It seems like something is wrong with your phone because I'm hearing you. Oh. Hello? 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 Yeah, are you hearing me now? Uh, yes. It seems like something is wrong with your phone. Uh, well, I was talking, you but you could, I could hear you, but I was talking and I don't think you could hear me. Oh, I see. I'm sorry about that. All right, uh, we're having a bit of technical difficulties with uh, the company phone line, so they're changing out the phone lines, all right? So probably that's the reason why, all right? Yes, I've tried to call, and every time I call, I get this. Um, it either says it's disconnected or it tells me to, well, we got disconnected. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm hearing you now. Thank God. Okay. All right. So this is the number that you should call us on. All right. Uh, because those other numbers temporary out of use right now due to the technical difficulties that the phone line is having. All right. Yes, I've tried to call on all three numbers that I got your number. And um, I also called... Kevin. I also called Mr. Kevin's number, and I also called Mr. J. Edgar Hoover's number, and all of them were disconnected. It's because of uh, the technical difficulties that we're having with the phone lines, so the company's changing out all those uh, phones. They're working with a different company now. Because that company, uh, the phones are given a bit of problem. They keep hanging up even when no one is hanging it up. You remember the other day when we keep getting cut off and uh, yes. we didn't know what was going on? That's, that's the reason why, all right? Well, how, how did it also affect Morgan Stanley and uh, Mr. Hoover? Well, there has been a breach into their system, all right? Oh, there has my been goodness. a breach. Right. That's why we keep telling you to keep your business strictly private and confidential because we're aware that uh, these hackers are out there. So we, the company, have to be careful. So that's why we try to let our lucky recipient know that they have to be careful also, all right? So yes. that's why uh, Kevin, uh, the bank, Morgan Stanley, is changing their number. Uh, Mr. Hoover had has to get a different number. And here at the company, we're changing out. We're moving to a different phone company because our numbers were listed uh, uh, uh None, uh, what they call it, unpublished. Our number was supposed to be unpublished, but we don't know what the, com the phone company did. And someone uh, tried to hack our phones. So we have to go to a different uh, phone company that doesn't work with third parties. All right. So I'm really sorry for all the inconvenience. 
but uh, everything is okay. It's nothing to get jumpy about. We have been through this uh, more than one time, so we know exactly what we're doing. They didn't reach to the database to try and get any info because our special team detected that someone was trying to hack our phone line. So they didn't reach to where they could get a, get any data. All right. Oh, okay. Well, uh, how is, is my account safe? Of course your account is safe. Remember, Morgan Stanley is one of the most secure banks. And because they know that our company, uh, uh, the phone line has been breached. So that's why, uh, they're changing out uh, their phone numbers also. But as I said, everything is fine. It's just the phone lines, nothing else. All right. So your account is safe. Uh, Mr. Hoover is safe. I am safe. Kevin is safe. The whole company is safe. We're just changing out the phone line and all will be back to normal. All right. Oh, okay. So is this uh, this phone number that... Uh, I'm talking to you on right now. Is this is this permanent or is this like a temporary number? Well, it's uh, it's temporary until they finish the, uh, changing out the phone numbers. Once they finish, I will give you the permanent number. But we can talk in this until uh, they finish uh, with what they're doing. All right. Oh, okay. My goodness. Well, uh, yeah, I've, I've never been involved in I, this kind of security before. Yeah, that's why I told you, you have to keep it strictly private and confidential, you know, uh, because of what is going on. You cannot share these things with friends or anyone. This yeah. is a lot of fun you're getting, you know, and uh, a lot of people are trying to, you know, try to receive money like this. A lot of people is going to want to wish that they were in your position where they're getting so much money. So you, you can't take it for granted. You have to take it very seriously. Seriously, and try to protect yourself and protect your money. All right, right, right. <laughs> right. So uh, you you said you've been uh, you've been trying to get us on those other phone lines. Yes, yes. From and, from when? And either from it when? says a uh, couple of days. It seems like uh, Friday, maybe. Oh, I see. Um. And it, it would either say it's disconnected or it would say something like, um, uh, press one for a special offer, something like that. Okay, I see. You're and then if you press one, everything. you get like, uh, you know, a sales pitch of something. Yeah, yeah. That's because the, the, the company is not registered to it anymore. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the phone company itself is actually giving you, uh, letting you know what they sell and stuff like that. Because oh. our company, yeah. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to move forward in order for you to receive uh, your prize. So uh, what uh, the Morgan Stanley is going to do, can you hold the line a minute, please? Uh, sure, okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what Morgan Stanley is going to do, they're going to transfer the, the, the money to Bank of America. Then they will write out a cashier's check, all right? Okay. Once they, they write out the cashier's check, I will have uh, the president take a picture of the cashier's check and have it sent to you. And also, we will provide you with the account information that the money is coming from at Bank of America. So you can call Bank of America and check it yourself so you can know that this is not a joke. All right. OK. All right. Right. So we're going to see if we can get this all done tomorrow. So uh, I'm looking forward to call you around. What time can I call you uh, tomorrow? Well, I've got a doctor's appointment in the morning. It's going to take a few hours. Uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon would be good. Around 12 o'clock, 1230. Uh, I should be home by the end. Okay. All right. Well, everything will be lined up and ready for you by that time. So I'll call you between 12 and 1 o'clock. All right. Okay. That sounds fine. And if, 
if 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 it's later than that and I can't get to you, just call me back at this number, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks. you for calling. Yeah, no problem. Bye-bye. Hello? Yeah, it's Mr. Bentley again. Yes. Uh, I was... What did you say your friend's name was again? Uh, Bert? Is that who you talk about? Yeah, uh, the one you 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 talked to the other day. Bert? Yes, but I've told him to stay out of my business. Oh, you told him to stay out of your business? He hasn't called again, has he? No, he hasn't called, but I, I'm just wondering, you know. Uh, what is his, uh, how do you spell his name? B E B E R T. Yeah, and what is his last name? Uh, Benson. But if he's, he hasn't, you said he hasn't called again? No, he hasn't called. Oh, good. Okay, Benson is B-E-N-S-O-N, right? Um, yes. And uh, you guys, you uh, he was there with you the other day when you went to play bingo, right? Uh, no, he wasn't. He wasn't here. Okay, uh, when was the last time you had dinner with him? Well, why do you ask? No, I'm just making sure, you know, uh, that uh, because someone called and we didn't know who called. So that's why I'm checking. So you haven't had dinner with him for a while, right? Right. Okay. All right. Well, everything is okay. Need not to worry. All right. I was just checking. Okay, and good. And you told, you, you told him to stay out of your business? Yes. When did you told him that? Well, I told him uh, after after we talked. I guess it was Thursday. I can't remember which day it was. Oh, okay. Because uh, that's right. Because you don't want anyone to try and stop you from receiving your money. You know. Yeah. And also, I have some good news. Well, he can't call you anyway because the phone number doesn't work. Yes, and please don't give out any number for the company again, all right? Okay. All right. Uh, I have some good news for you. Okay. I was uh, going back through the paperwork, and I realized that I was mixing you up with the third place category winner. You're actually the first place category winner, and your prize is actually $8.5 million. What? So I was getting... Yes, I was getting you mixed up with the third place category winner that won 3.5, but you're the, the first place category winner, so your prize is actually 8.5, you know? Uh, I was oh, my, to my gosh. Self, what? You know, because I don't know how I made that mistake, you know? Oh, my goodness. Well, what a wonderful mistake to make or, or to fix. <laughs> Oh my God! You know, uh, I was saying, what? How did how did this happen? You know, I'm looking back through the paperwork and I realized that, oh my God, she's the first place category winner. You know, and I, I totally forgot to let you know about that. But your prize is actually eight point five. All right. Oh, well, thank you so much. That is a that is that is terrific news. I was not yes, expecting you to say that. It is. It, it's wonderful news, you know. And once you follow uh, Kevin and I instruction and you keep your business strictly private and confidential, within no time, you will be traveling the world. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's just, just that is that is really great news. It is. And uh, tomorrow now we're going to let you verify with Bank of America to see that your money's there in the account and we're going to send you a picture of uh, your certified cashier's check. All right. Okay. You want us to, can, is it okay for us to send you uh, what has happened? The money hasn't transferred to Bank of America as yet. So uh, by tomorrow, it should be available there in the in the company's account. So Tomorrow, we're going to have all the information to give to you so you can call them and check the account, and we're going to send you a picture of your certified issue check, all right? Oh, my. Well, that's wonderful. 
Right. So, and after that, now we, we will let you know how and what you have to do. Okay. What you have to do to take care of the requirements, all right? Okay. That sounds great. Okay, see. All right. So, sleep tight and don't let the bed bug bite. And we'll talk around 1230 tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thank you. I'm, right. I'm just so shocked. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. It's Mr. Bentley. Sorry if I'm bothering you. You know. Oh no, uh, it's okay. I would. I just wanted to get something straightened out on the paperwork that I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the other day, when Mr. McAllister from the Morgan Stanley gave you uh, the account that you could actually do the wire transfer to, did you do it? Uh, no. No. Okay, that's what I wanted to uh, find out. All right, and also, uh, what what type of phone you're using? iPhone? No, it's a lively jitterbug phone. Oh, and when it's ringing, are you hearing it, or it's on vibration? Well, I do hear it, but if I go in the other room, I, I sometimes I can't get back to it quick enough. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Well, uh, that's all we needed to know. All right. So you don't do anything until after we verify tomorrow. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Hello? Hi, Hello? this is Mr. Bentley. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Bentley. How are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. I didn't recognize this phone number. Oh, yeah, well, this is the, uh, the new phone number. This is some of the new phone number that, they, that the new phone company gave us. So we have a new uh, a new numbers now. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the, the one that we were using, uh, we were just using temporarily. But uh, we can still use that number, but this is the original number that we came. We, they gave us from the new company that we've actually uh, are working with now, uh, the new phone company. Oh, uh, you changed phone companies yeah. altogether? Yeah, um, we do, we're not make, we're not taking any chances, so we decide to um to uh, to change the company uh, completely. Oh, okay. Uh, well, what about so um, to, what about uh, uh, Morgan Stanley? Oh well, um, I don't know. I, I haven't checked out with them as yet. So oh. if they have a new number or anything, I'll I'll call and uh, I'm gonna find out if they have a new number because I was trying to call the number, but I'm not getting through to them. So I know that maybe they haven't received any new number yet. So oh. uh, as soon as I get through with somebody, I'll let him tell Kevin to call you, and um, and so you can have a new number for them. This and, is um, all just I, very I, oh, well, very unusual, isn't it? My goodness. What? Yeah, because uh, these people have been doing this for years now. Um, they, when they're ready, they just can do our home mm -hmm. system, and they just use those phone systems to mess around. So we have to make a change uh, to the company and just decide, because every time it happens, we have to tell the comp company to change the number, and they're still doing it. So we decided to just change it and give a, get a, a different phone company. And um, so and they, the new company give us um, a cyber block. So if whenever they try to do that again, it will block their number. So they're able to come in on our phone line. Oh, well, that's terrific. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. what I want to do, uh, I want to do uh, the email. I want to send you uh, the email with the check. Um, and also, uh, I also want you to check the account for you to hear that the money is uh, is there to cover. Oh, okay. To cover the, uh, the check that you're getting. All right. Okay. Yeah, so I, I want to um I want to get the um to get your email. All right. Well, you you're just I only have the one, so just send it to the same one. Oh, um, the same email that you have. Mm -hmm. Um, what was it again? What was the email again? The okay. dot com. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me. Uh, I think I have it. I think I have it. So let me check here and see if I have it here. Um, okay. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay, I, I I got it. Oh, um, right. I'm gonna also because uh, we I have two numbers and I want you to have the two of the both of them. So I'm gonna call you on the other. One. I'm gonna get this check sending uh, on your email. I'm gonna call you on the other one also, so you can have the both of them. So whenever you're calling, you can if you're not getting through with one, you can get through on the other one. Okay. Oh, all right, that'll be fine. Are you gonna do okay. that now? Uh, so let me go ahead and um and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and send you the email, uh, the check in the email, and then I call you back on the other one. All right, thank you. 
Yeah, uh, this is my order number, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm going to send you an email of uh, the chat because uh, we're working on a deadline, so we have to get everything wrapped up today, all right? Oh, okay. All right, so you can receive your money. Okay. All right, uh, just give me a minute. I'm trying to get it sent off to you, and then after that, we're going to check uh, the bank account to prove to you that your money is there, all right? Okay. Did you also call me from another number that has um, the area code uh, 352? Yeah, the, yes, that's, uh, that's the number I'm going to use in Florida when I'm, o when I'm over there. Oh, okay. Remember, yeah, remember I'm going to come to you so that the company has to set up a number for me to use when I'm there. Oh, oh you can't. Well, I don't know how these things work. My phone number works wherever I am. Yeah, I know, but the company likes to use the number for the state that we're going to be in because it's cheaper. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're looking forward to be at your location by tomorrow. So we have today to get things wrapped up. All right. All right. So after I have you receive the check in your email and you see your certified cashier check written out under your name and we check the account to prove to you that it will be able to cover uh, the cashier's check, then we're going to have to proceed with you getting the 3500 dealt with right away. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So... Stay on the line. I can't lose your to you today. What happened yesterday? You never oh, get back to us. I, I owe you a big apology. You know, I went to the doctor and and uh, I thought I'd be home by about three o'clock, and it was a little after that. But my blood pressure was was high, and my, I think all those excitements got me. Uh, I need oh. to calm down, but. <laughs> They gave me some medicine to take when I got home because I was driving. They didn't want me to take it till I got home, and then yeah. um, and it just it just knocked me out. I was I was I was it was a, I was a little loopy, and I was afraid to talk to anybody. I thought I'd sound like a crazy person, but it made me go to sleep. I slept almost all day. Well, you did the right thing, all right? Yeah, I feel you better now. You come first in every situation. Yeah, you have to put yourself first in every situation. So uh, you did the right thing. Oh, thank you. Okay. But well, I'm glad uh, you didn't give up, up on me. No, uh, I can't do that. I'm your assigned agent. Your your check has already been written out in your name. Okay. Well, I hate that's to put the, you through all that the, yesterday. I know. It's okay. All right. So uh, I don't want you to hang up as yet because uh, I want I want you to check the account, the email with me on the line. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I was logging into it while I was waiting for you to call. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, I don't have anything yet. Yeah. it's uh, I haven't sent it as yet. All right. Okay. Hold, hold the line. Can you mm -hmm. hold the line? Yes, sir. All right. And you will be able to get the, the 3500 out today. Have you ever done a direct deposit before? Um, it'd be like depositing it like a wire transfer? No, not a wire transfer. A, a direct deposit where you take the money to the bank and deposit it into the account that I will give to you. Oh, oh, take it to my bank or take it to a different bank? Uh, whichever bank they, the, the financial department gives to me. Or otherwise, you could actually... I know you're a bit scared of the check, but I don't see anything for you to be afraid of. Because no one, once you write the check in, in the licensed merchant banker name, then no one else can cash it. All right? And uh, once you send it uh, priority our overnight express, then you're going to get a tracking number. So that way you will be able to track your package online. 
All right. Yeah, well, all if I could do it in the of, bike, I would prefer that. Because then it would be taken care of. Oh, I wouldn't have to think about it. Okay, I see. All right. All right. So uh, we're going to have to have you uh, do it at the bank then. All right, Bravo. All right. You said you're with Bank of America, right? Yes, Bank of America. Okay. All right. So uh, the 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 check is not in the email yet. Oh, let me get the little wheel there. Uh, no, nothing yet. Okay. Okay. So and uh, give it some time. You know, sometimes you send these stuff, and it 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 take a little while to get to you. That's true. You know, that doesn't happen yeah. immediately. Yeah, so uh, hold the line again. I'm going to try and get uh, the licensed merchant banker and talk to them. Hold on. Okay. Okay, uh, they're saying to give it around 10 minutes, all right? Okay. <clears throat> all right, so in the meantime, in the meantime, what I want to do, I want to uh, check the account with you, all right? Okay. All right, so I'm going to hang up, and I'm going to call you back right away. Okay. All right. All right, bye-bye. Well, this is a lot of fun. I've got four new numbers to report. I'm going to wait a little while, though. Hello? Okay. Yes, it's Mr. Bentley. All right, so uh, I think it should be there now. Oh, all right. Let me know. Oh, it sure is. Okay. Look at it carefully and see if everything is okay. And the hands that you're seeing, that's the, the president hand for the company. He's the one that is holding the check and taking the picture for you to see it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, this looks terrific, doesn't it? Yes, that's all mm -hmm. yours. And it says the $8 million, just like you told me. Right. I made a mistake. I'm really sorry. Well, this is, this is exciting. I just I can't take my eyes off of it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so oh. do you have a pen and a paper oh. where I could give you the account number and uh, the, the... Yeah, let me get that. I can't. Okay. All right. All right. The the Bank of America account number is four. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready now. Okay. It's zero eight zero. Okay. That's the account number and the last four digits of the social security that is on uh, the account number is. Okay. And the number for Bank of America is seven two four. That's the phone number? Yeah. Do I need to call them? Is that what I need to do? Yes. You're going to call them and check the account so you can hear that uh, there is uh, more than $8 million in the account to cover your check. All right? So okay. you can know that your check will be able to cash. Okay. All right? So you, th you think you can manage that? Yes, I'll do it right now. All right. And call me back. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Right. Welcome to Bank of America. This call may be recorded. To get started, please say or enter your telephone access ID, card, or account number. Thanks. And the last four digits of your social security number or tax ID? Thank you. Okay, account balance. Your checking account available balance is $10,883,647.50. If you're finished with your call, you can hang up. Hello? Yeah, it's Mr. Bentley, okay? Yes, yeah, sir. I just got off the phone. I called twice because it gave me the wrong balance. It said there was $10 million in there. Right. That's what's in there. Oh. All right. Yeah, but uh, they I have thought... to put more than... They have to put more than the eight point five million, so that way it will be easy to catch. All right, oh. they're not going to put the 
Yeah, they're not going to put the exact amount of money in there, all right? Oh, okay. I thought I had called and put the wrong information in, so I hung up and called back again. No, you did the right thing, and that's the right amount that is in there. I just wanted you to hear it for yourself, all right? Okay. To show you that this is not a hokey pokey. So, uh, will you be able to get the 3500 today? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so, how are you going to get it? From your bank? Uh, well, you said I could... Um you said I could um, make a deposit. Do the direct deposit. Yeah. Yeah, but what happened, you would have to go to your bank, get a cashier check from your bank, and then you take it to, uh, I think it's going to be the Chase Bank, and deposit it there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to provide you with the licensed merchant banker name that you're going to get the cashier's check in. All right? Okay. All right, hold the line a minute. All right, so I talked to the financial department, and I think they say it's going to be uh, Chase. So uh, they're going to forward uh, the information to me so I can provide it to you. Okay. All right. All right. And I'm going to stay on the line with you until you get everything accomplished. All okay. right, because we have we have to make sure that. Uh, everything is done the right way and I'm your assigned agent. That's my job. And we're on a deadline. So we can't let today pass and we don't uh, send in the 3500 so that I can pick up the check and come to your location immediately. Okay. All right. The company have already given me a area code for your state, our city. And, right. uh, I'm looking to be there by tomorrow. So, have you have breakfast already? Uh, yes, yes, I, yes, I did. And and you're dressed and everything to go. Uh, not completely. All right. So keep the phone line open and get yourself together. Once you finish, you say hello to me. By that, I should have all the information. All right. Okay, I'll go get dressed. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I'll call you back. Thank you. Well, that's it for part five, and there's still more to come. You're going to hear more from Mr. J. Edgar Hoover. Uh, things are going to get um, a little crazy. Um, hope you'll hope you'll continue on. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you, and uh, catch you in the next one.